Hello friends, welcome back. Today we are going to create Bootstrap Wells. Bootstrap has a class called Well that can create a visual sense of depth to your column. Nest one div element with a class Well within each of your column CS uh, XS6 div elements. So here we have the things and so they basically just want us to go div class equals Well. And we can just copy that and paste it over here. We have another one, XS6. Interesting. You should add div elements with the class well inside each of your div elements with the class class. So that looks right. Both of your div elements with the class should be nested within your div element with the class row. Okay, so that means that this guy and this guy should be nested within this guy, which they are. <clears throat> um, and then all your div elements should have closing tags. Ah, that's what I was doing wrong. Cool. And so the well just gives it um, some structure. Uh, what happens if we put something in? This would probably pass the test. Um, so yeah, that's good to go if you don't want to listen to me anymore. Uh, here's one, here's two. You can see that you can put some stuff in there. Let's say you wanted to do like an unordered list. You could put like list one, uh, two. I'm just doing this as an example. None of this is necessary to pass the tests, but I'm just kind of showing you the things that you can do. And like, I remember when I was going through this the first time, I was thinking to myself like, why, why are they making me do this? This doesn't make any sense. Um, So the idea here is that I'm just kind of showing you that you can do all sorts of different things with this. And then these are extra small, right? So they're mobile responsive. If we were to click them down to that really small size, they start to stack. You see how they stacked there? That's, they're mobile responsive. Um, if we were to do, um, oh, there's another class I didn't talk about last time, small. If we go SM, you'll see that they'll actually um, stack. Oh, they already stacked right there. So right here, they change. So like if you're looking at this on an iPad, it might be like this, but if you're looking at an iPhone, it'll be like that. So I think that's kind of a cool uh, thing to be aware of. So yeah, this is why you do it like this. And then you structure, the reason that I always keep my code so um, clean, you see like, it's because I like to be able to read it. It's like, okay, this is their H3 tag. Okay, cool. And then we've got the row. Awesome. There's the row. Within the row, we've got a column. Sometimes I'll even divide up the columns like this. Uh, is it? Yeah, this one. And then that way I can just see the columns super easily, even when there's more, more text in there. But none of this is required. This is all just stuff that I'm throwing in there um, to try to help you be a little bit more aware of how this stuff works. So if you wanted to just pass the test and have what I would call uh, clean looking code, uh, I think that this is a good uh, solution. So run the test, they pass. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next lesson.